So let's talk about fast food chains real quick. You've all seen the fast food tier list that every A-list YouTuber has ever made, and B-list YouTubers, and C-list YouTubers, and now D-list YouTubers with me. Um, you've seen their, their tier list, right? They got, the, you know, sometimes they do some funky stuff like put McDonald's at the top, you know, who does that? Who in the right mind does that, you know? And there's a really strict rule about that, at least in my opinion, right? You always have to do just the burger and fries combo. It's even across the board. Everybody has the burger and fries combo. Uh, it's a really easy tell to see if your fast food restaurant is better than others. So let me explain a little bit of my fast food tier list. My fast food tier list, all funky, but some people get stuck up about it, right? Some people really get stuck up about their fast food tier lists, all right? Me, on the other hand, you know, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disown you as my child. Or I'm not gonna like, you know, you're, I'm never gonna talk to you again if you like McDonald's. You know, there are some people out there. No, you know what? I take it back. I would disown you if you were my child and you like McDonald's. If McDonald's were at the top of your, uh, top of your tier list, you would never, you would not be my child anymore. My tier list, number one. As of two months ago, all right, as of two months ago, number one, a and W. You know what? I go for their Beyond Meat Burger, okay? Their Beyond Meat Burger is really good. Now, I feel, if I feel like saving the environment just a smidge, you know, I'll get the Beyond Meat Burger at a and You know, they got some quality ingredients on there. Their, their stuff is always fresh, you know, and the fries, you know, the fries is where they get you, all right? Now, this is my caveat with Miles at McDonald's. I'll get into it. I'll get into it. But their fries, McDonald's fries, are, are F tier. The worst thing ever made. a and nullifying their sweet potato fries because that's a little unique. You know, it doesn't match the burger and fries combo, you know but their fries are good. And that's what makes them the best, all right? Solid, great burger, beyond meat too. And it's also tastes like meat and it's good. You know, it makes me feel a little bit better because I'm not eating meat, you know, saving the environment a little bit. But contrary to that, if I couldn't care less of it, about the environment that day, I'll go to Arby's. Now, that's, that is controversial, but Arby's, they got the meats, that's their, that's their, that's their thing, right? Their roast beef sandwiches, they're pretty darn good. But what I get is the Montreal smoked Reuben sandwich. Now I know that's not, doesn't technically count as the as the burger and fries combo, but I'll make us an exception for Arby's, all right? Arby's, that's the only edible thing on their freaking menu, all right? And that's the only thing I go there for. A and W, Arby's, and then Wendy's. Wendy's is so far above freaking McDonald's, it's crazy. Wendy's, they got the same, they got everything going on that McDonald's, or that a and does. They got quality stuff, they got, you know, a decent patty, and that's where it switches. You know, a and makes me feel good when I eat it. McDo or Wendy's does not, you know? They got the unsalted fries, and that's all I care about. That's the caveat, unsalted fries, right? We'll get into that later. a and Arby's, Wendy's, and then Everything else is just sort of crammed in there. You know, who cares about Chick-fil-A or freaking, what is it, Carl's Jr.? It's so average. It's so average, all right? McDonald's is at the bottom. I hate McDonald's. Look at some pictures of their freaking Big Macs, all right? Those things look revolting. They got the stupid, this stupid uh, freaking, God, the stupid crapped cheddar cheese on there. They just slab it on. It doesn't melt. It's just like, bleh. You know, if you're gonna have a burger, you need to melt the cheese on the God Arm Burger, all right, okay? And the thing is, the other thing is, why do people get cheese on their God Arm Burger? Because you know it's gonna be the lowest quality freaking cheese ever made, all right? And you're just gonna slab it on there, it's not gonna melt because they never melt it, and it's just gonna make the burger disgusting, all right? You can't tell me that you can't, that you can physically eat unmelted craft singles. You, you should not ingest that into your body. Even melted, but at least melted, you don't, it doesn't taste like, like chemicals, all right? As McDonald's F tier. The worst chain ever in existence. Now, getting into the real point of this video. Canadians, if you're in Canada and you haven't told me about this, what is wrong with you? You have almost ruined my life by not telling me about this earlier. Nobody told me that Harvey's was this freaking good. Last month, I went to Harvey's for the first time because I work in the same parking lot that Harvey's is, right? And I, my eyes, my mind have been opened to the world of Harvey's. It is the greatest thing that has been bestowed upon me since birth, all right? 
let me explain Harvey's. If you're not Canadian or you haven't been there yet, let me explain Harvey's to you. It's a, it's just your average fast food restaurant, right? Burger and fries combo, you know, classic, right? They got some other stuff, but who cares, right? Um, but unfortunately it's tainted by being beside, every single location is being beside a Swish LA. Now, I don't know who made that deal. Harvey's on Swish LA, like, what is going on there? But whenever I see a Swish LA, I know there's a Harvey's. So now I'm just gonna be like, let's go to Swish LA, AKA Harvey's, because nobody goes to freaking Swish LA except for old people. But they do something a little differently. They got the Subway style. So you go in, you pick your burger, you, they make your burger for you, and then you get to pick your toppings. Now their selection isn't huge, but I'll get into it. Their selection isn't huge, but it's good enough to make a great Goddard burger. Why is it so good? Harvey's is the best fast food restaurant I have tried ever with for burgers and fries combo, okay? Number one, they got the Subway style. It's genius. And it, for all I know, they came up with it, right? Subway Subway didn't, didn't do it, Harvey's did it, okay? Harvey's was the first. Sorry, I got a button up. Respect Harvey's. Come on. Come on, man. Subway style. You gotta choose your own burger. Sometimes, you know, you maybe you don't like onions. You ask McDonald's, no onions on my burger. They still put freaking onions on your burger. It's like, come on. It ruins your experience. The burger's inedible if you don't like onions, right? I love onions, but whatever. That's great. You get all the choice. You make the perfect burger for yourself. And then what really gets you are the patties, all right? The patties are where it's at, that all the, sorry, the Harvey's is coming back up, hang on. Stay down there, Harvey's, come on. So, Harvey's has the best, pat the best patties, all right? They flame grill all their patties, and you can taste it, right? You can taste it's flame grilled, right? I know Carl's Jr. does that, but Harvey's does it a little differently, right? They got the Angus patty. I know Carl's Jr. also has the Angus patty, but come on, give me a second. Right, you break it open, and the Angus patty, you can see the ground beef. Like, it's actually ground beef. It's real, it's real beef in there, right? It's freshly cooked. It's cooked to order, which is, I had never seen that before. Maybe it's just my location that I go to, but they cook it to order, and that's wild to me, right? That, I've never seen that before. It's, it's wild. So, cook to order, makes it fresh, right? And the Angus patty, is real, right? McDonald's is like some conglomerate of like different pieces. It's like they're chicken nuggets. Who knows what the heck is the, are in the chicken nuggets? Probably not chicken, right? Now let's get into the condiments. Number one, the pickles, the most notable thing. The pickles are the long pickles. They cook, they cut them the long way, the right way. And if you don't like pickles on your goddamn burger, what are you doing with your life, by the way? What are you doing with your life? Doesn't make sense, all right? Y give your head a shake, okay? Pickles are the, the, creme de la creme of burgers, okay? If you don't, sorry, I'm just gonna, getting a little, <laughs> might have to undo a button here or two. Whew. Sorry, Harvey's, I'm gonna, <clears throat> if you don't have pickles on your burgers, what are you doing with your life, all right? Give your head a shake, grow up, all right? Grow up. Yeah, pickles are new sour for me. Oh, pickles are your number. No, no, you know what, if you get a good employee, They'll put like four of those things on there. Your your burger's gonna be half pickles, all right? And I like that, okay? You know, you know they're only supposed to put one, like of the tomatoes and the pickles or whatever. They're supposed to count like the freaking olives they put on or something, whatever, right? Um, but if you get a good employee, they don't care. They just throw like four tomatoes on there, three pickles, and it's like a stacked burger this high. It's all of fresh vegetables. And it's like, oh my goodness, thank you. Next up is lettuce. They got the same lettuce as McDonald's. It's shaved, it's not iceberg. Love iceberg lettuce on burgers. It's just so much better. But it's shaved lettuce and I can't blame them. You know, not the highest quality lettuce, but it's lettuce, so I'm, I'm nonetheless, at least it's on the burger, okay? So you got the lettuce, little controversial there, but I won't, I won't tick them too hard on that because their sauce selection makes up for it entirely. Their sauce selection is not as extensive as Subway, but you know, some things don't go well on a burger, so I, I, I get it, right? But where it's at is their Harv sauce. I think it's called the Big Harv sauce. What a name, right? You know, but they gotta put their branding on something, right? The Big Harv sauce. It's delicious, okay? So that's where it's at. They got good sauce selection. Now let's get to the fries. Here's, here's where, here's where my gears get grinded, all right? If you're, if you're someone, this is where I'll disown you if you're my child. 
if you're someone who likes salt on their fries, you're delusional. If you go to McDonald's because they salt their freaking fries, number one, McDonald's fries are the lowest quality thing I've ever had in my life. People are like, oh, it's so consistent. No, it's not. Every time I go to, sorry, jeez. Every time I go to McDonald's, their fries are like flimsy. You can like smack them on a table and they'll make a grease mark. Like, and, the, and they dump freaking pounds and pounds of salt. I feel my arteries closing every time I eat it. It's ridiculous, all right? You are gonna die age of 12 if you eat McDonald's fries for your whole entire life. Every time you go there, like you're just gonna die. You're just gonna combust and die. Your arteries are gonna close and you're gonna explode, right? That's what A&W, that's what Harvey's, and I do believe Wendy's does not, uh, salt their fries either. They got a little thicker cut, so that they're not so flimsy like McDonald's, and then you bite into it, and they're always fresh. I've never had not fresh Harvey's fries. Maybe it's because I go at such weird times of the day that they ha that they just don't have them sitting out, but they just, they and they have to make it for me, fresh. And it's just like, wow, that is the best thing I've ever had in my life. Sure, it's not still healthy, but it sure is healthier than putting 16 pounds of salt on your gut iron French fries, right? So that's where I get a little stuck up about French fries, right? If you like salted french fries, you're delusional and you're going to die. So it doesn't matter if you're gonna die early anyways. Natural selection, if you ask me, that's that, right? Harvey's, great fries, incredible burger patty, and you get to pick your selection and they never mess up your burger. Oh my gosh. It's just banger after banger after banger. And that's what makes it the best, all right? Let's talk about prices. Harvey's prices are not ridiculous, okay? You get to make, your burger and they make it after you pay so you can put as much as much stuff as you want but i'm always too nervous to ask like if they put one pickle on there i'm not gonna be like um excuse me can you put another pickle on there no i'm not gonna do that right i'm not that kind of guy all right they give me what they give me and i'm a little too nervous to ask okay but you can ask it's not illegal um and they'll put extra on it and it's after you pay so they're not gonna charge you. their prices i think it's like 13 something for a combo for the angus patty one patty you get the fries, you get the drink. That's a solid price, right? For the high quality patty that you get, that's a good price. McDonald's, I just searched it up. McDonald's, like their Big Mac extra value meal, whatever that means, I don't know what that means, is $11.59. And I just searched up an image of a Big Mac and it looks like the most revolting burger ever made. Like who invented that thing? That, that looks so gross, right? The patties are the thinnest and the most, like the, the crustiest freaking patties. I'm just looking at a picture right here. The, the crustiest things ever made. The cheese is half melted. It's disgusting. It's like you bite into it and it's like, it's gonna like whap you in the face when you bite into that thing. The lettuce is the stupid shaved lettuce. They got mayonnaise just slather and you get no choice. You're like, Excuse me, can I not get the disgusting cheese on it? They're like, yeah, for sure, we'll get that right up for you. And then it still has 16 things of cheese on it. It's like, that is revolting. 11.59 for that garbage. Um, yeah, no, I'll go eat out of the dumpster, thank you very much. So I think the prices are decent at Harvey's. You pay for the quality, you pay for what you get, basically, right? McDonald's, you pay a little bit more than you should for what you get, but you know what? People do it for the convenience. McDonald's is everywhere, I get it, right? But I don't get it why people put it so high on their list. Anyways. That is Harvey's, that's my Harvey's rant. For you, where does it rank, all right? Where does Harvey's rank? For me, it's at the top. Like, there's nothing that could possibly beat that unless something comes down from the literal heavens and bestows upon me the best burger I've ever had in my life for $12, all right? You tell me where Harvey's ranks. And if you haven't gone to Harvey's, go to Harvey's, all right? Keep that place in business. They had to merge with Swish LA of all places. That's how desperate they are. Keep this place alive, because if the one that if the one that's near my house closes, I'm gonna cry. Real tears. I'm gonna cry. It's gonna take me a while to recover if my Harvey's closes down. So go to Harvey's, right? Keep that place alive because it is so goddarn good. Okay? That's my rant. That's my rant. Thank you for listening. And uh yeah. Harvey's up. <laughs> Harvey's up. Woo! Harvey's up. Yeah. <laughs>